TJW players are preparing for what's to come tomorrow night. Tonight, the Gaming Weekly comes to you from the fastest paced action pack game ever made here on Rocket League. Adrian, the voice that game said, along with Xbox Freak, my partner and partner, we cannot wait. It's going to be a great show because apparently the match was made by the orders of Scorch Y because apparently a Rocket League tournament series is starting up soon, sometime in August. We cannot wait. Xbox, how excited are you? Pretty excited. One of the less, though. Really One of the less. That's nice. Xbox, you know. We're still talking about it. I mean, I have goosebumps. I can't sleep at night. The fact that something evil is coming up tomorrow night. I mean, let's take you back to what happened this past week when Rebel Tea Time issued the controversy that something evil is coming. It's going to be exciting. Something evil is coming soon to the Game of Weekly. To the Probably Weekly. excitingly awful. Or maybe just it's just like you and your buddy Weekly. Scorch. I'll, I'll say it's maybe it's just you and your buddy Scorch whipping up some evil plans to cheat again here part of the Game of Weekly and inspire someone. But nonetheless... Uh, not someone, not a person is coming to this thing. It's like something thing. is coming. Something is coming. That's all I can say. I'll tell you, a very scary footage over the fact that Rebel Tea Time just issuing the threat right there, there from the Rebel Weekly. I mean, the Rebel Weekly, what do they do? I mean, they fired Minigun Killer 10, they defeated the Gaming Weekly. Now they're actually going to be bringing something evil. And Xbox, what are your thoughts on this? Yep. I will address that situation at the end of the video, but uh, fair enough. Just Why don't like you call the action with me? Why don't you call the action? Well, you can't because you don't have the game. By the way, nonetheless, though, the game. Let's and talk about the perhaps let's go ahead and take you back to what happened this past week as well. Apparently, we have a real pimp on hey, our Adrian's hands. Hey, voice, what's up, bro? I request some time from Scorch to talk in the party today. My name is Shelton, but I want everybody to call me Shelton the Pimp. You heard? Uh, Shelton the gay. Pimp. That's right, Shelton the Pimp. I'm the real pimp. I get all the ladies. I don't care about the other pimps. They're fake. They're all fake. They're losers. And there's no one to match me. So I'm going to be able to call out all the pimps out there. Come at me, bro. Peace. I'm out. Nonetheless, the real pimp is here. He's going to be calling out some other pimps. Well, ladies and gentlemen, apparently a special guest is going to be joining us a little bit later podcast, but... You know, we're getting set for this Rocket League matchup in the tournament starting up in August. We cannot wait. There you see now, point, scoring right there for the blue team. And I'll tell you, it's a two-on-one situation for the orange team because they only have one point as opposed to the blue team with two. Nonetheless, though, folks, we're still talking about that, that, that threat, though. I mean, that threat, what could it be? That evil entity. I mean, I really am scared over the fact that I don't know what exactly is going to happen. I know for... A great amount of fans are quite scared as well. They're actually walking to the old proverbial eggshells as we're continuing this broadcast. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and well show you the threat the Rebel Weekly made this past week as well. three-on-one situation. Blue team with three points and the orange team with one. This is Rocket League, ladies and gentlemen, here part of the Game and Weekly. Adrian, the voice alongside with Xbox Repeat a Game set. And there you see now Ant-Man doing a pretty good job carrying his own team here tonight. Feel it at home, folks. The action-packed physics-based game was mentioned. We talked about how there would be a special guest. And apparently, this special guest has just joined us right now in the broadcast. Welcome, this special guest. Sup, everyone. I'm here to say something. My name is Benj, and I want you to refer to me as Benj the Bully. I'm a goddamn bully. I don't care about anyone or anything. Got it? Great. You're a bully. Nobody likes a bully, by the way. You know what? So scary. You know You've what? been pissing me off since the beginning. I don't care if people like me or not. I'm here to bully the people that deserve to get bullied. Pimps, daughters, players, squeakers. But how about we start with you, huh? Adrian the goddamn voice. Yeah, but we start with you. Yeah, man. How yeah, boy. Huh? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm quite all right. I'm quite all right. Huh? It doesn't huh. matter to it me, Adrian. The voice. 
Because I'll beat the crap out of you and break your bonehead body, you little piece of shit. So scared. Well, three. Well, nonetheless, as you see, uh, Benji and his gang just left the party, and I'll tell you, this Benji the bully guy, he's really into the, he's really serious about this bullying stuff. Well, nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, developing well, story right there. Xbox, what are your thoughts? Bullying is never I don't care if it's, uh, you know, on you or just really on anybody. Thanks. I mean, that kid can uh, kind of uh, bully me, so what, still what happens to him, you know what I'm saying? Well, anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, as this matchup is rolling on, again, moments ago, we just talked to Benji the Bully, and apparently he has his own clan as well. Did you see the amount of people that were in the party with him? I mean, they were backing him up. Nonetheless, though, Ant-Man scoring right there to there. Folks, 51 seconds left, and I believe it's safe to say the blue team is going to win right there to there with five points as opposed to the orange team with two. And I can only imagine the frustration beginning to build for the orange team, considering the fact that they're actually losing as we speak. We're still talking about that, that evil entity, though, coming up tomorrow night. I mean, I cannot wait. The Gaming Weekly is going to be presenting another TGW production video on Halo 5, but what exactly is that evil thing? And Xbox, apparently you have two announcements to make at the end of the broadcast. In fact, it's going to happen in 40 seconds, though. We're still talking about that match, though. I cannot wait between this match, Ant-Man, and there you see the other players point Dexter and Fireworks Rock and Rocket Go Zoom. These guys are doing all they can to try to win it, and I'll tell you, these players are phenomenal. There's B. Cress, of course. He's actually using the duking and dodging the boost right now for his own momentum. Shifts the ball going right into the middle of the map, and all these players are glued to the ball, and that's exactly what they need to do to try to score. The blue team with five points can somehow, somewhere the orange team reach to overtime if they score to five points as this matchup is rolling through. Moments ago, we just heard from Benji the Bully. He stated that he, of course, Apparently, he feels to, well, bully anybody. Two seconds left, and I think it's now safe to say the blue team did it. They defeated the orange team. Congrats. And congratulations to the blue team. You don't want to take anything away from the orange team. They did a great job combating the offensive style of the blue team. But, you know, for the blue team, though, it was just too much for the orange team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot wait more night. Apparently, something evil is coming up. But before we end the broadcast, Xbox Freak Pete, my partner, has something to say. Xbox? Okay, so I got two uh, uh, announcements, and they're both, you know, really important. So the first one is, uh, you know, I don't like the Rebel Weekly, you know. I mean, y'all, y'all know that, right? So what I want to do is, right. uh, I'm gonna start my uh, own little clan or tribe or whatever to try to stop these idiots. Now, uh, to uh, join, you can just message me on uh, Xbox, and we can talk about it at a party. Because I want to try to, uh, you know, get a get a group of people that can like help me stop these guys. And uh, you, you know, my you I have one more announcement, and uh, it's something that all that of y'all will love. Uh, okay, so y'all know that me and Zephyr has fought two times in the past. You know, we're one and one, but Zephyr, I am calling you out for a final match. For the free for all championship. One on one. You accept it or you don't. Well, apparently, a developing story here as well. well. Apparently, developing Xbox story here. Freak Pete. Xbox Freak Pete just challenged Zephyr. They faced each other twice. Xbox Freak Pete got the first point. Zephyr got the first point, and they fight each other one more time. I guess that's going to be the rubber match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, nonetheless, tomorrow night on Halo 5, the Gaming Weekly presenting a game night. We cannot wait, but exactly what is coming up tomorrow night? Something evil, an evil entity. We're going to find out.